Hello, I'm Andrew Lawrence King and today I'm talking to you about Spanish Baroque harp. These chromatic harps were invented in Spain in the mid-16th century, earlier than in Italy. The arrangement of the strings and the Spanish tradition mean that you play standing up or with a small harp, kneeling up. But the player is high compared to the instrument in contrast to the Italian position, sitting low down. The right hand plays at the top of the strings and the left hand about halfway down. And this gives a contrast in the sound of the two hands with a bright treble and a rich resonant bass. That contrast is exaggerated by the shape of the sound box, narrow and shallow at the top, wide and deep at the base. Because of this contrast in sound, Spanish players played their arpeggios downwards, starting off with a clear treble note and then descending for a rich, resonant arpeggio. Two rows of strings are arranged like the white and black notes of a keyboard, the white diatonic strings in one row and the black chromatic strings in the other. And those two rows cross over in the way that your fingers interlace when you clasp your hands. So the right hand can play the white note strings at the very top and the left hand can play those same strings in the middle, below the crossover point. And either hand can stick a finger through between two white note diatonic strings to reach a chromatic string in the black note row beyond. The left hand can also play up high in the bass for a clear strong bass. The repertoire for the Spanish harp is very similar to that for keyboard instruments and for the vihuela. Later on, there's a lot in common with the repertoire of Baroque dances for the guitar. So the pieces are fantasias, arrangements of vocal music, and of course, dance music. 
Spanish harps also played in church where they would accompany vocal music but also play fantasias, a repertoire shared with the organ. Luis Benegas de Henestrosa published a book which brings together these common repertoires for keyboard, vihuela and harp. It includes many fantasias, tientos by Cabezón. They look very plain on the page, but contemporary sources show how they were ornamented with quiebros. The technique and the repertoire of the Spanish harp are shown in a book by Lucas Ruiz de Ribayaz, Luz y Norte, a lantern and a north star that show you the way to walk through all the Spanish music. The repertoire he shows is mostly dance music. Spanish harp had a significant role in theatrical music, including the first Spanish operas composed by Juan Hidalgo, who was himself a harpist. The harp and its music played a significant part in the cultural interchange between Spain, Africa and the New World. The first Spanish operas influenced the first South American operas and dance rhythms crisscrossed the Atlantic, perhaps the most famous being the party music of the Chacona. Thank you for watching. I'm Andrew Lawrence King and this is the Spanish Baroque Harp. <laughs>